Hi everybody. If you are a big fan of Korean food, you may think that you know uh, fried chicken is uh, yeah kind of a Korean food, even though the fried chicken is not originated in Korea. Other than the uh, fried chicken, one of the most loved by Koreans when it comes to chicken uh, is jimdak. Jimdak means it's like a braised chicken. Jim means braising or steaming and the duck means chicken. Today I'm going to cook a very uh, my home style, the typical Korean jim duck with some vegetables and uh, you will follow my direction and then you can uh, develop your own style if you enjoyed my recipe. Let's go for it. Let me introduce today's ingredients and sauces. The first one is chicken, which is cut into small pieces. This is already cut from the factory, but I'm going to cut into the smaller pieces so that we can eat easily. And basic ingredients of vegetables like this. This is uh, green onion, potato, and cabbage, garlic, carrot, and very hot spicy uh, green pepper this looks a little bit weird but we love this kind of noodle this is a glass noodle which is called the dangmyeon in korean and this is made of 100 uh, percent sweet potato starch and this will give you a very nice texture and consistency the sauces are very simple it's uh, yeah just the soy sauce and some syrup salt sesame oil pepper, and mirin. Okay, now let's start the cooking. First thing I'm trying to do is to cut this uh, chicken into small pieces, or little smaller pieces. This is uh, you know, already cut, but to make uh, a one bite, I'm going to cut into a small pieces. One more so. And this chicken should be marinated before we cook. I'm going to pour one tablespoon of mirim, ground pepper. This and just a bit of salt, one tablespoon of soy sauce, then mix. Okay, now rest it. Second step is to cut our vegetables into pieces. The potato should be cut into chunk like this, cut in half and half, and then cut this size like this. Okay, put your potato here, put a side, Sarah, cut in half. Another half or so cut into chunks. This is uh, cabbage, just a cut, make a rough cut. Put here to cut this very hot, spicy. Green pepper into small pieces like this. Okay, then put this one also into the same bowl that we have. Green onion should be cut into diagonal like this. Be contained in the same bowl 
that we have. Finally, the garlic should be uh, crushed. So first of all, push, push like this with your, you know, the blade, my blade. Then stomp with your knife handle. And then just put like this. This one also can be stored into the same container that we have. First of all, you just uh, put maybe a quarter of a big pot with the water and then bring to boil. When it is boiled hard, you can put your this glass noodle into the pot and boil around, okay, let's say it's uh, six minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to take care of my chicken. So, turn on the heat. Drizzle some oil. Wait until the oil runs like water. Or the, the pan gets a little smoky. Even when the pan gets smoky, you don't have to worry about so this pan is metal, so it's not burnt up. So just wait, don't worry, because if you put your ingredients here and the temperature will dramatically go down, so it will never hurt. I'm going to put my chicken here. Now I'm going to make it a little golden brown, the surface of it. Do not store or flip too much, just the way so that the surface can be golden brown. Maybe around two minutes, the flip. Cook the other side. Okay. Yep. Cook that a little more minutes. Oh, my water is boiling. So I'm going to throw all the uh, the glass noodle into the pot. And I'm going to set my timer. And I'm going to set my timer six minutes. When the surface of the chicken gets a little golden brown like this, I'm going to fry carrot and the potato together. At this moment, you don't have to put some water because we have uh, moisture from the chicken and the, the potato and carrot itself, but just to stir fry. Sometimes you can cover it with the lid and it will enjoy the steaming effect. Here I'm going to pour some of the, the water from the boiling the noodle because we have some starch. 
and it will give us consistency. Again, cover it. Here I'm going to add some sauce. Four tablespoons of soy sauce. One, two, three. When the potato and carrot is half cooked, now time to put other vegetables. Stir. And they will make a great harmony inside of it. The color is a little light brown, so to give a little more dark color, so sometimes we use this caramel sauce. This is just a kind of a painter, so just to put this into the pot and the color will be a little darker. Just one uh, tablespoon of it. I think I need to put just a little more of the uh, starch stuff, starch stuff from the boiling pot. Yep. Let's check if the potatoes is gone. Okay. Yeah, just a little more cooking if needed. Here I'm going to add some more sweetness with the syrup that we have. You can use the sugar as well. One, two, three tablespoons of syrup. If you love sweet food, you can put more. It's uh, totally up to you. So mix. The noodle is ready now. Now let's put our noodle into the pot. Since this noodle is too long, so we can have a very rough cut with our kitchen scissors. We love kitchen scissors a lot. And mix so that the noodle also can absorb the yeah, dark brown sauce as well. And if you want to enjoy some of the stock, you can put just a little more of the stock, the starch stock from the boiling pot and pour then boil and cover it up. I think we need just uh, just a couple of minutes is needed to cook fully. If you want to know when to finish, just try to your potato and it's uh, very soft. Then you can finish. Let's try. This is our potato. Hmm. Then you can finish this. Okay, now let's taste our jjimdang. First of all, I'm gonna eat. 
Mm. So nice. The chicken. Mm. Yep. Mm. Mm. Vegetables. And noodles. Mm. So nice. So mm. nice. The combination with the vegetables, noodle, and chicken. It's so perfect. Mm. I like it. Mm. Honey. Honey, let's have dinner.